The movies really showed us that high school was a lot of things, things I did not even get to experience, not even prom, but anyway, today let's not talk about that. Okay. What if I guy, what if I have a retake? Okay. Mm -mm. Let's just open, you know, let's rip it off like a bandit. Okay guys, five, four, three, two. So my camera kinda went off, but we're back. So to continue law two, I got a 65 which is a B no retake um for contract law 2 I got a 67 which is a B no retake okay 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 where are we criminal procedure okay see what happened with this one is we did a cut it was close to Christmas time my mind was just not in class I even did my cut with a blue pen and then a purple sparkly pen that smelled like grapes so whoever was marking that cut was not too happy i'm sure and i probably looked so insidious but i got a nice a fat fake 58 which is a c okay thanks um the next one is foundations of roman law which is 75 which is an a <laughs> just going to play some dramatic music over here because I'm, I'm so happy um then we got love taught which is a double credit unit because we do eight units but when you do a double credit you need to do seven units because it's a double credit so for that i got a 73 which is an a and oh, what's the next one philosophical anthropology I got a uh, 61, which is a B. That was a close shave. Yeah. It's about to just dial it back a bit. Um, and then legal research and writing. I got a 71, which is an A. So guys, we kind of kind of smashed it. Kind of, you know, a bit. <laughs> Hey T fam, Tamina here and welcome back to another episode of Unkill Positivity. Today, as you can see, we are back to this kind of vibe. Just a chill sit down video where I'm going to be telling you about my first year university experience in law school and some of like the things that I gathered and advice I would give to a first year student in my shoes. But also, I need to tell you that I have a flu, so my voice is deeper today and I sound so manly. Let's just ignore that and get right to the video. So the first thing we're going to talk about, ladies and gentlemen, is cut assignments and... Wait, it's cut assignments, exams, and essays. So here's the thing. There's something you need to know before you walk into those halls of university. Halls. Did I say hall? Let's, let's ignore that. So here's the thing you need to know. University is going to seem so easy the first few months because it's going to be literally like minimal work lecturers are just going to be coming in they teach you people write notes some don't it seems so chilled and you're like this is university oh thanks this is so easy <laughs> sis bro hold your horses so these lecturers conspire against each other and decide to let us think university is really easy for the first few months and then they all bring a bucket load of work and they just come like hey it's time to be initiated into university so they're going to be like 100 essays 200 cuts all in the same week and you're wondering wow what is this so we're trying to avoid natural disasters so i would say for example me there's this day i was doing an assignment and literally my laptop just decided error and my work was flashed out so here are some tips and tricks so that you're not like me your work doesn't get flashed out and you're not overwhelmingly shocked when the lecturers bring in the work so you can have like an essay plan i'm going to leave some templates here that you can print out so that you see guys um, 
I'm really out here just to help you. I'm going to show you some templates that you can print out so that you can have like an assignment plan. You can have like an essay plan and like an essay checklist on what to write because the essays you used to write were not kind of the same as the ones that were supposed to write in university. You get what I mean? So I was confused. So when I found this um, like printables, I was so thankful to whoever, whatever led me there. And I would just like to show them to you guys so that you guys can have a much easier time in university. The second thing I can tell you about is your exam. And ladies and gentlemen, in my first semester, I was thriving. This, your sis was thriving because I was on top of my work. I knew all, I had read all my readings. Yeah, me, I know, surprising. I had done everything. So when it came to exam time, I was just like, oh, this, this, and this, other than being like, what, what the hell is this? You know what I mean? So in my second semester, you would think after having a good first semester, I would be like, oh, this is the, this is the wave. Let's ride it. No, I was off the way. I was drowning. I did not know who, who were the authors of most of the readings. Mind you, I did not even know the context, the contents of most of the readings they were doing. And I was so confused. Literally, I got a cut one day and my body was in class but my mind was on vacation like i was just not <laughs> thriving so i would say pay attention just pay attention in class this will really help in your exams number two your essays cuts and readings are bay and old exams from past years that's your side check so here's the thing if you don't know about your bay you're not gonna know your side check is not going to help you much. You know what I mean? You need to know all these other things so that your side check can come in and then you ace that exam. I'm using such terrible analogies. Please forgive me. I did not encourage side checks whatsoever. But I do encourage them when doing your exams. You get what I mean? Side check meaning your old exams. Because if you do your old exams, you'll only know that knowledge and you won't know this other knowledge. So in case the lecturer decides to be, you know, our uh, students, I'm going to be give you the first paper ever set in Africa on this concept. You're done. You just close your paper. Sleep. Because if you've only done the old exams and you won't know what the hell is going on in that exam room. <laughs> and trust me, you, you wouldn't know. So you need to be on top of your essays, you need to be on top of your cuts, you need to be on top of everything so that when you do your old exams, they say, like, oh, this is old knowledge. And then the exam reaches and you're just like thriving. You are thriving. Anyway, let's go to the next thing. So the next thing I'm going to talk about is relationships. And this is friendships and also dating. And for dating advice, what can I tell you? I have gone on three dates. I think three dates is a third university. So you can tell that I'm very <laughs> underqualified to be talking about these topics but I can tell you just three things the first thing is that if he likes you you'll know if she likes you you'll know that's all you need to know for that the second thing is uh, think no love with your mind and your heart don't just love with your heart love with both of them but also allow yourself to feel every single feeling because they're also valid and the third thing I would say is be mature like if you're mad at someone, tell them up front. Don't just die with your grief and not tell them. And just expect them, expect them to telepathically know what's going on. You know what I mean? And the fourth one I can say is be safe as you're out here living your best lives. Please be safe. That's all I can say. And the next thing is about friendships. And I'm going to give you a tip because I'm the shyest human being you will ever meet. But somehow I have a lovely squad of friends. Thank you guys for being my friend if you're watching this. I love you guys so here's the thing it's so easy and you just need to spend a little energy so if you're really shy and you cannot really even imagine approaching someone to just tell them hello I got you you know I I can help you so here's the thing spend all your energy on the first day orientation day when you guys are there find the most not the most extroverted but an extroverted person in the room when you find this extroverted person in the room, please, please, I'm begging you, just go say hi to them. Just talk to them and then just sit back and relax as this extroverted friend makes for you the rest of your friends, you know. And in no time, you guys have an amazing squad, trust me. You won't have to make friends with the other guys because the extroverted friends will just, will either assimilate them to you or assimilate you to them seamlessly. Like, it will be so seamless and that will sort you because you actually need a group of friends in university you actually you kind of need them 
and the yeah we're actually done with that topic that was really short but i'm trying to keep this video really short so that you guys don't spend like 21 minutes just watching me rumble and talk about myself Thank you.